for eight months we debated what we were going to call ourselves and we had some terrible, terrible names. And then I think it was your mum, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, one of the first names that we thought of was Sam and Aggie. And then we just thought it was awful because it sounds like Kim and Aggie, the cleaning lady. <laughs> so we're like, okay, we can't do that. And then my mum was like, why don't you just call it Aggie and Sam? And I was like, yeah, I don't know anything about fashion. I can't call it Aggie and Sam, that's just weird. We met at um, Alexander McQueen in 2008 when we were interning. Um, and Sam was on the print side, I was on the design side. After interning for a, a year, year and a half, and then looking for work, we just felt it was right to sort of get together and just do something ourselves. When we start doing a collection, it usually always comes from a joke. So, like, we usually like on a bus or a train. Um, and then end up with this. And then end up with this. <laughs> when we first started, there weren't really any of the menswear companies that we knew of that really using digital print as like a way to show their collection and the thing that holds it together. It was kind of like a byproduct, so we decided to really embrace that. My love of print comes from illustration, but Aggie's growing up with print, um, like in his family, he's like obviously African heritage is quite a big thing in terms of colour. And when I first started drawing, I didn't really use that much colour, it was all monochrome. So that kind of influenced in terms of what we did, like from his side of things. And then, I don't know, it's just kind of always been an amalgamation of a mixture of my tastes and his tastes. I've always been very eclectic and I've always sort of clashed colours and prints together in the way that I used to dress, whereas Sam's always been um, not monotone, but... Boring, used boring. to it. <laughs> yeah. If I was to explain Aggie's um, probably character traits that translate back into the brand, I'd probably say calm and reassuring. But also a bit schizophrenic. Bit schizophrenic? Yeah. And like oh, bit that. schizophrenic. Yeah. I said bit schizophrenic. <laughs> like, what is bit schizophrenic? I'd say bit schizophrenic as well. Because you're not bit schizophrenic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not naturally that organised. Um, and so it's good because I've learned through Sam's, like, you know, stress and <laughs> organisational skills how to implement that into the business. It was always about trying to deliver personality and project our feelings on fashion. He always said that he worked in some really, really serious environments where like, it was life or death and people were like, screaming and shouting and we've always never wanted to take fashion too seriously, so we want people who buy our clothes to feel like they want to look good, they want to enjoy themselves, but they don't want to be taken too seriously. We used to go through interviews and discuss what our collection was about and looking back on all of the internships that we used to do, they never really gave too much away, they give like a little hint of a, an idea with the invitation and we kind of felt like that was a nice thing to do with like kind of a new collection so we're not even going to mention what it is but if someone can like depict it and realise what the joke was I think that would be even funniest. It's about magic for me, this season's about magic. Magical collection. Mm -hmm. Biscuits. <laughs>